Hi guys, welcome back to Chess the Matthew. So on this video, we will tackle about the Owens defense. For example, after e4, b6, and this is now the so-called Owens defense, in which the black here tries to develop his bishop on the b7 to control the long light square diagonal on the board. But here, the repetition of this defense is very simple. The white here should go for development, for example, after knight to f3, trying to develop his knight and to control the center, and also vacating the square. So that, for example, after this bishop will be moved, then this king can go for a kingside casting. So here the black will simply play the move bishop to b7 as his idea from playing b6 in which he will try to control the long light square diagonal on the board with his Owens bishop on the b7 square. But here we will simply play the move bishop to c4 trying to vacate the square so that the king here can castle later on. But after bishop to c4, although it controls now the center with the pressure to the f7 square and also vacating the square, but it leaves the e4 pawn to be undefended. But if the black here will grab that pawn, we have a simple knight to g5, attacking the undefended bishop of the black. And if the black here will be too greedy and will grab another pawn, but it ends now to a checkmate after bishop takes f7 checkmate because this bishop cannot be captured because it was actually defended. The king cannot escape to the check and he cannot cover the checking pieces. So it is already now a checkmate. So going back once more after e4, b6, knight f3, bishop b7, and bishop to c4, and after bishop takes to e4 and knight to g5 I actually have this video and there is a comment that what if the black here will play the move d5 so it is very simple after d5 it covers now the diagonal for the white that actually controls the f7 with the knight and the bishop eyeing to f7 and again it stopped the checkmate trap and again after d5 it actually attacks now our bishop but after d5 we will simply play as white with knight takes to e4 and allowing the black here to have some concession whether he will grab the bishop or the knight and if the black here will grab our knight to e4 then it is very simple Although we are now a pawn down, but we have a bishop pair on the board. So it actually compensates for the pawn deficit on the board. And for example, after we will continue, and it is white to move, after net c3, trying to regain this uh, pawn deficit, and again developing a piece. And if the black here will defend it with knight, we have queen to e2, trying to put some attackers to this pawn with only one defender and let the black here defend with the queen and equalizing the attacks and the defense so when he captured this pawn will leads to a materialist for white but the white here will simply play d3 again putting some another attacker to the pawn so we have three attackers versus two defender and after it takes d3 Bishop takes to d3 and again although the white here is a pawn down but we can see on this position that the majority of the pieces of the black still sleeping on the board. So again it compensates for the pawn deficit with this 3 development for the white. So after e6 we have bishop to e3 attacking the queen and after queen b4 and queen side castling we shall see in this position now that the white here has a slight advantage even though he's a pawn down because the white here actually successfully completed his development on the opening by connecting his rooks and again putting his pieces out on his room and ready to attack now the black king on this position. And another thing for example after d5 and still we will play the simple move of 
knight takes to e4 and if the black here will grab the bishop instead of the knight but after d takes c4 although still we are pawn down on this position but we have a simple queen to e2 attacking this pawn with our queen and if the black here defend with b5 we have a4 try to divert this pawn from the defense of the c4 so that for example if this black will grab this a pawn then there is a simple recapture to the c4 pawn and later on tries to equalize the material on the board and after c6 trying to defend is b5 so that for example after e takes b5 there is c takes d5 but the white here has a simple move which is to develop with knight b to c3 attacking now the pawn on b5 and for example if the black here will defend with a6 then there is just a simple capture to b5 so that for example after a takes to b5 then the rook of the black here will fall on a8 so after b4 trying to attack the knight and later on uh, trying to defend this pawn with another piece so after knight to b5 putting the knight on a safe square again the safer pawn of black is still under attack with the queen and if the black here will defend with queen to c8 defending is c4 and again maintaining a material advantage on the board but there is simple knight e to d6 with a check and this knight cannot be captured because this pawn was actually pinned down with our queen to e2 and with the check it has also an attack to the queen on c8 and it is pretty obvious that the white here is actually winning on the board so after e4 b6 knight f3 bishop b7 bishop c4 and bishop takes to e4 and knight to g5 again after the d5 we already know what to do as white here for example after we simply play the move knight takes to e4 and whichever the black here will capture for example if the black here capture the knight or the bishop still the white here has an initiative on this variation so that's all i hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe